Well, Dr. Zakia, in the morning of the Eid, uh, it's a requirement for the Muslims to go out and uh, do the Eid prayer. Could you explain for the benefit of myself and the viewers, what are the rulings regarding the Eid prayer? As far as the prayer for Eid is concerned, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2534, Abu Huraira, may Allah be with me, said that the Prophet Muhammad he said that fasting is prohibited on two days, on Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. That means on the two days of Eid Ain, Eid al-Fitr, that is the breaking of the fast, and Eid day of Adha, that is the Eid day of sacrifice. These two days is prohibited. So no one can fast on these two days. As far as the ruling is concerned about the Salah for Eid al-Fitr, there are differences of opinion amongst the scholars and the different schools of thought. According to Imam Shafi and Imam Malik, the Shafi and the Malikis, they say that the Eid Salah is a sunnat e It is a very important sunnah known as Mustahab. Based on the hadith that the Bedouin who comes and says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not made us compulsory any salah other than the five prescribed salah, which is mentioned in Mughni, volume number two, page number two to three. So based on this hadith that no other salah is compulsory besides the five times prescribed salah, they say that this salah of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha, it is sunnat al-Mawqidah. According to the humbly school of thought, the humblies, they say it is farz e That means it's a farz, as long as some people from the community do it, it's enough. It's not farz on every individual, farz e And the third ruling, that is according to Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him, he said that it is farz, it is wajib. And this view is also of Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, that praying Eid al-Fitr Salah and Eid al-Adha Salah, it is farz. And the ruling is based on the verse of the Quran of Surah Qawsar, chapter number 108, verse number 2, which says, Inna atena kal Qawsar, fasallil rabbi ka vanhar. Fasallil rabbi ka vanhar means, and turn to the Lord in prayer and sacrifice. So it indicates that you have to offer the Eid Salah of Eid al-Adha and then sacrifice. So based on this verse, they say it is compulsory to offer the Eid Salah. And there are various other Sahih Hadith in which Prophet Muhammad has commanded the Muslims that they should offer Salah. Not only to the general Muslims, even to the women who are menstruating, he said, go for Eid Salah. Even if you don't have to offer Salah. He said, the veil woman, even the virgin, whether they are young or matured, they should go for Eid Salah. And the menstruating woman, even if they can't offer, they should at least go to the Musallah. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one in the book of Salah, hadith number 351, as well as hadith number 324, and various other hadiths. The Prophet even said that the children should go. And based on this hadith, Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him, and Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy on him too, they said that offering is Salah is fard. There is one more hadith in Sunan Abu Daud, volume number one, in the book of Salah, hadith number 1068, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad said, that we have two each together. That is Eid al-Fitr and the Juma Salah. Even Juma is supposed to be a weekly Eid. So he says that after offering the Eid al-Fitr Salah, he says that those who do not want to offer Juma Salah may not do it if they don't want to. But we will offer Juma Salah. Indicating that because you offered Eid al-Fitr, Juma Salah which is more important than the five prescribed salah. Here, Prophet said, if you offer Eid al-Fitr in congregation, Juma Salah may not be offered that day. But naturally, they have to offer the normal Duhar Salah. So this surely indicates that Eid al-Fitr is a far Salah. And I agree with the view of Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah have mercy on him, as well as Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy on him too. Ameen, inshallah.